It has been 10 years since the remarkable story of Michelle Knight, Gina DeJesus and Amanda Berry, and they became forever part of our city's history. All week long, we have present, presented special coverage. 19 investigates the missing. First of four, we take you inside what some see as the future of finding those who are missing. New advances have proven to speed up those essential searches. We actually sat down with the special team behind it all. 19's Katie Tursik has the story you'll see on just one station. Time is of the essence. Uh, seconds matter. When someone goes missing, the clock starts ticking. That report triggering an urgent plan of action to find the lost. Today I met with the team sounding the alarm. The missing person unit is made up of several East Side police agencies, and they all share the same mission. Bring a missing loved one home safely. You might remember back in December, a runaway teen was found by Garfield Heights police using their drone. Come here, come here. I'm here to help you, all right? Well Everybody knows when something's just off. Like, they, nah, this person should have called me by now. Only on 19 News, this special team gave me a first-hand look into how they're speeding up the process to find a missing person. Drones, canines, ATVs, some of the resources they're using. We do have a missing elderly individual here today. Uh, his car is here. Uh, the uh, wife called saying that he is missing. First, they send up a drone with thermal imaging. Next, they look at this TV for signs of movement. They do. They see possibly the elderly man they were looking for. Then a canine responds, followed by boots on the ground. They confirm it's the missing gentleman. They see that he's injured and call for the fire department to bring the ATV over to him. After that, it's another successful mission. We're using more technology by the day. You'll get to see a little glimpse of that and um, stuff with like even social media, huge bonus for us. Um, you know, knowing your kids, like to, you know, helping to find mm -hmm. the kids, knowing their social, like their handles for the Snapchat, the TikTok, Instagram, that's all like very beneficial yeah. for us. This unit practices different scenarios of a missing person every other month. How it really has made a complete difference. Sure, I'd, I'd say well over 100 uh, since, since we've been on the team. Law enforcement says emerging technology could be facial recognition when it comes to locating missing people. In Oakwood, Kate Tursek, 19 News. As we continue our week-long series, The Missing, 19 News will broadcast live tomorrow from the Cleveland Center for the Missing. Join us as we look back 10 years ago when all of Northeast Ohio cheered as Gina, Michelle, and Amanda escaped from the House of Horrors. That's tomorrow from 3 until 6.30.